If you don't know what this little guy is and you missed our last uh, test and results video, go back and watch that first. I'll put the link below and it'll pop it right up here for you. Go have a look at that, then come back here. In a nutshell, this is the NYX Color Sensor Mini 2. And what it does is it extracts colors from objects and then gives you various types of information and codes so that you can duplicate that color in a variety of different ways. Last time, we gave it a relatively easy test by using all the colors from the Pride flag and we made sure that the paint colors that we tested it against were very basic primary versions of each of those colors. Today, however, today, my friend, we're gonna up the difficulty level quite a bit. And we're gonna test it against five different whites from the Sherwin-Williams fan deck. Favorite colors and top colors can be very uh, subjective and very personal. So I just did a very quick Google search and I found a blog post that listed, hey, here's the top five whites from Sherwin-Williams. So let's see just how accurate this thing can be against five different colors that only vary from each other very slightly. But I have faith, I have faith. Quick little rundown on how this guy works, okay? It connects to your phone using a couple of different apps. One app gives you matching paint information and the other app will give you matching digital code information, things like the hex code, RGB code, and the CMYK code. Today we're gonna to use the paint app and we're gonna test it against these five whites from uh, Sherwin-Williams. What the NYX will do is scan each color and then present us with what it thinks is the best match based on two categories, based on excellent matches and good matches. And of course, what we want is for it to match it perfectly and for it to be the very first choice at the very, very top, tippy top of the excellent matches. All right, let's see how it does. All right, first thing I gotta do is connect the NYX to the app. So I'm gonna connect the NYX, it's checking. See, it's got a light inside that it uses to help uh, determine the color. It's gonna test it in a second. Oop, there it is, there we go, we're all set up. Battery percent is 100, awesome. All right, so what it's asking us to do is to start scanning. So I'm gonna place it on the first color. Last time, if you watched that other video, man, I had a hard time reading those colors, so I've got little notes to help me here. And now I can't read my own handwriting, but all right, it's fine. So first one here is pure white is called. So what I'm gonna do is hit scan. Now, ooh, look at that. So I wanna show you something here. So first you've gotta go in and you've gotta tell it where you are and what database, what uh, paint company you wanna use. So I had already done that, but I wanna go in and I wanna show you this. So here's a list, I'm in Canada. So here's the list that we get in Canada. You can see it's pretty extensive. It's pretty long. I've already got Sherwin-Williams selected so that we're only looking at that, but you can select as many as you want at the same time. So I said, okay, give me, look at Sherwin-Williams. It's loading the database. All right, and okay, so we've already scanned this guy. Look at that, right at the very top of uh, excellent matches, pure white. There it is. It got it right. Whoa, look at all, it's got quite a few excellent matches. And then you can see it switches to good matches. And then it has a whole bunch of different others. And at the very, very top, top, uh, it shows you, well, this is what it thinks it is. So it, it scans it and goes, hey, this is what color I think it is. And below, hey, here are all the paint colors that I think match at Sherwin-Williams. And there you go, pure white. Let's move to the next one. So the next guy is called Alabaster. Let's scan that. Woo, okay. Oh, not bad. So Greek Villa is first, and then Alabaster, right there is second, in excellent matches. So that's not bad. I'm not angry at that. And hey, let me show you something else here. So just very quick reference. Something really cool that this app can do. If I, okay, I got Alabaster, okay. Let me go into it. And what it can do is, and it can show me all these other different, sort of, see here at the bottom, color schemes. Okay, let me see all the different color schemes that I can do. So there's monochromatic. So here we go, it can pick, if you pick all these other colors, it's monochromatic. It's a complementary color palette. It says exclusive plum can go with it. 
don't make me say this, and uh, and I'll, and I'll, and anal August. <laughs> I know that's not it, but I think that's funnier. So there's the colors that are anal August. Here we go with split complementary, uh, triadic. I'm sure I said that wrong. I can't see that far away. Tetric A, B, square. I don't know what that means. All right, so that's pretty cool. It can give you all the different kind of color schemes, okay? And then I can go right in and I can purchase the paint. I don't want to do that right now. Okay, so let's go back. I'm going to go on to the next one. So this one is called West Highland White. I'm going to hit scan. What do we got? Oh, there's Alabaster again, Greek Villa. Uh, alabaster again, that's weird. West Highland uh, White. So what's that? One, two, three, fourth from the top in the excellent matches. Still pretty good. Still pretty good. There it is. Okay. Snowbound is the next guy. Scan. Snowbound. Woohoo! Right at the top of the excellent matches. We got that. We're all good. Here's the last one, extra white. I gotta say, I think this uh, extra white is probably one of the more most popular whites at Sherwin Williams. I don't really know. I've never, I haven't used Sherwin Williams yet, uh, but I, I'm pretty sure this is the most popular white that they carry, extra white. Oh, there it is, right at the top. All right, so it did really well again. Whole bunch of other matches that I think I don't really get. Like, you know, that doesn't really matter. This sky slope. So it's only within the good matches, but I don't think that's a very good match, but all right, whatever. It did work, it did really well. I pretty much found all of them uh, right in the top of the excellent match, except for that one, so right on. Right on, man. All right, well, there you go. Once again, it did really well. It got, I uh, what's that, 97% accurate? That's amazing, it's really good. So, yeah. We do recommend this. Yeah, we will be using this more often. Actually, since the last video, I have used it again and it's great. It's really cool. We're gonna maybe, maybe what I'll do next is some kind of a digital uh, test. That's gonna be a harder one to test, so I'll figure it out. Uh, Cause that means we've got to do a, pull it on, pull an object that we want the color from. It'll extract it, give us a digital code. So then I gotta go into like Affinity Photo or Designer and create something then get it printed, then bring it back, and then see how it matches, but for you, my friend, anything. Hey, how do you like my hat? <laughs>